how do they move around? Not sure yet. I mean, uh, everybody's getting reps at different places, and you know, it's up to the coaches. I'm, I'm ready to play anyway, really. How much work for this week have you gotten overall on the left side? Since you've been uh, it's been about a year and a half. I got some left tackle in one of our springs. I worked there uh, predominantly, but it's been a while. I mean, it's not much change. It's just plays are going the opposite way. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just, I, mean, I know you've talk, talked about this before, but have you just embraced that role of, you know, maybe being a guy who's who's got to move around, you know, like the, ba the baseball guy who can play anywhere in the infield. Is that just, is that who you are now? You think as a as a player in this team? Yeah, I mean, and I I love I love to be that. You know, I like it. The, the team can you know get on my shoulders and I can help them out. You know, I take pride in that. And you know, I've been getting less left uh, snaps this week and really taking pride in like working on my technique and making sure I'm. Ready to go for the game if in case they need me. How did you, as y'all broke down the, the film from that game on Saturday, was there improvement there? Was there not enough, not enough improvement? How, how did you, how did you break down kind of what you saw up front from y'all? There definitely was improvement. You know, um, we came with a different kind of physicality than we did the last game. We uh, we had a lot better rushing day, which is what we're mainly about. You know, we talked about it all week about having a rushing game. We can't just depend on Worley, even though he's having a great time. We can't just depend on him to, you know, win us the game. We got to win up front. In terms of getting Nicole Thomas kind of back in the mix there, how important was it for him to, you know, kind of take that? I don't know if you want to call it emotion, but when he went from the ones to the twos a couple of weeks ago, how important was it for him to take that the right way and to kind of keep progressing, keep going forward, don't let it get him down, and, and get back to where he is now? Very important. You know, I told. I talked to Coleman a lot, and uh, I told him about my situation, about how I redshirted, and I was second team my whole first year, and it's really not that bad of a thing to be redshirted. You know, I mean, it's it's okay and to keep his head up, and now he's got an opportunity to be able to play, so he's he's really taking advantage of that, and I've been keeping up with him and telling him, you know, got, you got to get ready, like, get in there and watch film, get get your technique down, be, be ready to go. You've seen Oklahoma now on film. What stands out with those guys when you look at Oklahoma? Uh, they run the same defense as Utah State, so there's that. And uh, we like the fact that we've already gone against that kind of defense, so uh, that gives us some familiarity. But uh, they got big guys up front, you know. Um, their nose, their nose guard, six six three thirty, which is a big guy. So I mean, a lot of their defense is one on one matchup. So we plan to take advantage. How does having faced a guy like Daniel McCuller in your time here help you when you face humans that are that large? No, oh, it helps. I mean, uh, Dan was a huge guy, and he definitely got the feel of, you know, his size overall. I mean, when you hit him, it felt like a wall. So it, re it yeah, you know, it does prepare us. I mean, it's not like it's not like we're going into foreign territory. Tyler, how much are you working at left tackle right now? Um, well, we're going back and forth. You know, I've gotten work at left and right in the past few days, and we're just kind of feeling it out. Not sure uh, where I'll be on Saturday yet, but um, that's up to the coaches. So, what's the biggest adjustment going from right to left? Um, more of my stance than anything. Just uh, feeling comfortable before the play starts. You know, stance is everything. It can determine how, how well your foot your footwork is, how good your hands are. So, really working on that. What's it like just to have some position shakeups for an O line at this point in the year when you're you know doing game prep and also trying to figure out who's going to be where? Man, it's 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 challenging, but. Uh, I accept it, you know, full stride. I'm, I work every day at it, and I take pride in the fact that, you know, they can depend on me to switch at any position. I, I, I love to play anywhere as long as I'm playing, you know. So if, if Coleman ends up at right tackle, you know, what kind of confidence do you have in him and Jay Sean, you know, both true freshmen playing on the same side of the line in a hostile environment? Well, I've played next to both of them now, and I really like those guys, and they, they really want to learn. You know, they, they really want to be better. They want to be as best, as good as they can. So I think this upcoming week we'll see their maturity level and see if you know they want to get extra time in watching film and lifting weights and getting recovery and being ready to go on Saturday. Now with going on the road and you guys are going to be in the hostile third down territory, what's it going to be like for so many newcomers on the offensive line playing in that hostile environment, especially on third down? Uh, it'll be different for them. You know, the, uh, Coleman even told me he's never been on a plane before. So this is some of the guys' first times. You know, I, I, I've played away games before. I, I know what it's like. I know how loud it gets, you know, being in the SEC. I mean, stadiums are bigger and better than everywhere else. So uh, I think 
this will be a huge game for them. Um, and with this game, they will mature a lot and be able to, you know, take any anything that comes with them. Uh, I really, I really think those guys are going to mature fast and be ready to go. You mentioned just seeing improvement on the line. Just what do you feel like this group's done well so far, and what hasn't been done well? Our physicality has been really good. Um, our communication can be better. You know, um, we go out there and hit them in the mouth, but you know, we're not always on the same page. You know, we have some MAs across the board, and we need to make sure and do that, especially on passing downs. We can't have Worley getting hit anymore. So um, that's the one thing that we're really working on.